something. That That's what I'm saying. Because he leaped. Like, he boom. also had the aim of Off a lifetime. Right. Like he could have jumped and missed. Mm-hmm. He, that, he hit his head. He got Dude. ass. He got ass. Nah, but no Poor woman, no man. That's, shit, not, that's fucked he, up. Him jumping off the table. Him jumping off the table. Kind of wild. Cause the guy, you know how they put, you know how they put the table and the tables be here. That's and what I'm it's saying. Like a walk he up to them niggas. Yeah, so yeah. he jumped from the table, boy. Unbelievable. When the judge comes from the back, she, they have to step up onto something to get. So yeah, it's yeah, just they like go how like four flight, <laughs> he, four steps. He, he wait. What he, he did, thought about that shit. What he is is he a waste like, of talent. Give me shit. I'm gonna. He's a waste of talent. He's he could have been in the NFL talent. doing all that bullshit. Olympics. You could have been in the fact. fucking NBA. You over here jumping on a judge. NFL, okay? for sure. What's wrong with you? You could have been jumping for millions of dollars. God damn it. In the Olympics. Give him. Yeah, he got to get. jump. <laughs> NFL wide receiver. Yeah, he got to get Donkey of the Day, man. Because that was un- and he did. fucking believable. Yeah, absolutely. He did. He of course he did. did. Yeah. Shout out to Charlemagne the God. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yo. Definitely yes, yeah, did. Yes, yeah. Donkey what y'all thought? What y'all thought about Cat Williams though? Thank you, the nigga that had two interviews and had the internet on Smitter. Still got it on fire. Still got it on fire. Yo, I was like, yo, I was like, I don't care. I believe everything you said. That first week, you know, we still going from the first interview. We still in it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this first week of January is kind of like then that Cat Williams interview job. Jews did their thing. My son Jeffrey Epstein out here wilding too, but you know what I'm saying. He's been wilding for a long time. He's been wilding on the island for a long time. But what time. y'all, what y'all thought about? We gonna talk about the Cat Williams interview with uh, Shannon Sharp. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What y'all thought? What's y'all thoughts, Amazing. man? Amazing. He went blood on that shit, right? Yo, he started that shit off like. That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Oh, boom. Get money. <laughs> Get, yo, cause he really just he yeah he yo, salute salute. You know uh, you gotta tell your truth. Sometimes the truth is 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 hard to absorb when it's, you know, it's about household names and people you have ideas about. But you got to remember that these are people, too. And this is just, you know what I mean? It, 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 these guys are their, each other's peers. So they, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to consider what people are saying. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I didn't find a lie yet. He might have read three thousand books by the time he was twelve. I mean, Cat. god damn. I was really trying to quantify that, and I just cannot find the time maybe, to do that. I've read a lot of books, though. All of the book, like the whole book, but he read. It was a lot of penguin books. You know the penguin books, the uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> the Slim Johns, because it, it, it's no fucking Jesus Christ. What else were you doing? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He said he was homeless for some time. Uh, maybe you have you have a lot of time when you're you homeless. Have, yeah. Um, Cat Williams could so be the I, only nigga that could be Money Mike. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, just had to. It wasn't Ricky Smiley. We we oh. all know that. Yo, we gonna be honest. Come on. So to Ricky, I don't think I don't no. think Ricky Smiley. You doodles. Like the best part of the interview. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked, I saw Cat thirty times. I'm gonna go home and watch Boondocks now. You know, as I this. stand before you, Shannon. Yeah. Shannon. Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, the best part of the interview. I ain't gonna lie. I was at work watching that shit. <laughs> Yo, that shit was like, three hours long, bro. I was like, all right, let me sit down. And I, and I watched that. every 45, I watched every second. You heard? That was classic. Yeah. I watched every second from like, the intro. Like Third said, you know what I'm saying? You got to speak your truth, you know what I'm saying? And the joke was real similar. That's in question. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of the other shit that he said is too... too For me, it's like I'm not in there. I'm not in that No one's world. addressing the things but that he said. some shit might seem true, you know what I'm saying? My so, nigga, Cedric is not on Tubi. Y'all hurt, nigga, hurt. None of your specials is on Tubi. Netflix, cool. They delete shit. You're not on Tubi. Shit. Tubi got everything. I think, all Um. Right. I mean, we're not going front, though. I, I'm not going to. not on Tubi. Listen, I'll say this. Out of all, the, all, all of the comics that he named, he literally is funnier than all of them. And I think that kind of shuts the fucking conversation up, you know, enough for him. But he went in because of a lot of personal reasons. And I, again, like niggas, is, you know, they, they're speaking, but they're not really speaking on any. They're not really addressing any of the things that, you know, he specifies. So I, I mean, wanna, salute to him, bro. That's yeah, I don't want to make it seem like I'm caping for the certain person that this certain point that he mm-hmm. made. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. But with the Kevin Hart shit, right? Uh-huh. Like that was spicy. That, that was, was spicy, that was. See, that's saying? a hard pill to swallow because we all love. Let's be honest. 
He's funny. We yeah, like him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But with I, 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 the no, plant shit and all that, cool. Whatever funny. you feel, me, right? I mean, right. Maybe but when it comes funny. to when it comes to he's saying, oh, mm-hmm. every single script was on my table, this yeah. and that and the third. All right, cool. That might be true, right? Right. But at some point, people wouldn't wouldn't get tired of you mm-hmm. always having right. a discretion with. We gonna get to that. The scripts that they give you. Mm-hmm. Like um, every single time, I understand about the dress shit, and sometimes. He, he's I, and done, I, I think he he's just done mentioned done quite those. A few movies. He's th- done a quite a few movies. Oh, yeah. he, he said fifty, uh, and I'm yeah. pretty sure he didn't mention that because we can't Google it. And right. and most so, of them is not comedic roles. Right. They a lot of dramatic and real roles. So he's got, and he's got and I and the ones that were comedic. I, I mean, he made the movie. Let's be honest. Yeah, you knew Cat yeah. when you knew when Cat Williams was in the uh-huh. movie. That you was and you wanted to go laugh. You you knew this movie was going to be funny if he was in it. Yeah, I, Cat I, Williams. I mean, but what you was gonna say, Chum? He was really big at some point. You feel me? It's like Kevin Hart at some point. Like you know, all right, this nigga gonna be funny in this movie. Let me go see this shit real quick. He was getting there. This thing's pretty funny. Well, I'm, what you was about to say? I lost so my thought. No fault, damn. It's okay. It's the weed. Yo. Nah. Steve Harvey, perpetrator. You took hanging with Mr. Cooper, and I just realized that when niggas pointed the fingers, them niggas had the same suit. Same blue suit. This nigga Steve Harvey was in an apartment building. Nigga, uh, Mark Curry had a house. Two mm. two floors and all that. Sorry. Damn. That shit hurt my heart. <clears throat> yeah. And if you think about it, the Steve Harvey show, everyone else was more funnier than him. Steeda was funnier than him. The girlfriend. Yeah. I think I said the name wrong, but the girlfriend was fun. Cedric's girl was funnier than him. Hold on, hold Bullet on. Bullethead and them on, niggas hold on. was funnier than him. I'm just saying, bro. Uh-oh. I don't know what you... I don't know what you funnier saying. Funnier than who? Than Steve Harvey Steve on his Harvey. show? Yeah. I don't Steve know. Steve Harvey had... Niggas his, like the show was good. The Romeo. show was good. Um, I don't think he was the best person, and it was his tour. He wasn't the best person on Kings of Comedy. No, yeah, that's hundred percent. That's a hundred percent facts. Bernie Mac was, was the best tool. one there. Let's be honest. Like, come on. But it was a, it was, was, was Chris, it was a was, Steve uh, Harvey Chris tool, Tucker so. on. No. Did he feature at all? Nah, oh, the, that Kings, was that jam. the Kings of that Comedy was, was uh, Comedy Jam. That was D. L. Hughley, Bernie Mac, mm-hmm. uh, Cedric the Entertainer, and Steve Harvey. Oh, oh no, Bernie all the way. Let's be honest. Yeah, let's keep it real. So again, not a lie told there. I like Steve. Nah, no lie. I like Steve on Family. Family, no family feud, respectfully. Steve Harvey family got feud. Steve Harvey got family. his brand. Yeah, Steve got Harvey it. got he his brand. He gonna roast a nigga. I'm not gonna hold family you. He, feud I feel like he's like sparing he cat. I feel family. like he could roast cat if he wanted to, but he's not gonna roast him because wow. he like I'm too old for this shit. Too old for cat. But cat, cat one old. Like I got cat no matter what. Earth that. But in like a three rounder, like cat. Cat two one. We gotta remember this the same nigga that made a joke about the lion in the zoo. That shit was super common. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. The tiger. Come on, niggas. Yeah, the tiger. Niggas don't got jokes, bro. Steve Harvey, he could play, but he ain't gonna cat. It ain't that. He can play dirty. He, he, he'll read you. Like, you know how, you know how a gay nigga, like, I don't know. Like, you know how, no, no, respectfully, respectfully, like, you know how you can't, like, I don't like to argue with them. I don't argue with them because they will fucking read you. I don't know what they're going to say. It, it could be made up, but nah, it, ain't it don't matter. About, like, ain't I've seen no, them read It ain't nothing about no signs. Nah, they be... Play, what you... What, it be specifically, specifically gay Niggas men. Dangerous. They, yo, they, they really good. They good at this. What you thought about the interview, Cat Williams Chum? do it like that. Hmm? Chum, Okay. What happened? The interview. I loved it. I think it, it tops. I if y'all know I'm a you know Charles Charleston White fan. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> but I just feel like this beat his interviews. I'm just saying uh, as of that. Just thought that yeah, show yeah. was a stand up. Like right. So it's just like it was just it was comedy, but at the same time was he was just dropping this wisdom and knowledge and gems and gems and gems. And then it's like, was he telling the truth? About was he not telling the truth? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh nah, that's the truth. Like you know what I'm saying? Like why he why would he lie about that shit? Right. And um, it was so funny because I if if y'all go back to um like the episodes that we be doing, I'm always <laughs> like walking back and forth. So I felt like damn, like I, I it was a kumbaya moment because it's like you know when you're really talking to somebody, yeah, 
and you really like into something like you want some like yo like I'm trying to confess mm. some shit and I'm really you know and I'm trying to word it to where you ain't or you did not take it a certain way but you know so you feel like you saw it in the ba- in the body language you, yeah, you saw some like, of the truth in the body language yes 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 yeah, yeah, um, I feel you don't get me wrong he probably you know black people tend to overhype something right my mm-hmm. mom does this shit all the time like she'll talk about somebody knowing damn well they don't sound like that she's like baby he said this about you you are a fucking mm-hmm. lie like stop adding a characteristic <laughs> to a person that he don't they don't have that shit yeah you know what i'm saying but he didn't he, he didn't have that mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. um i looked at it as like a a, a a understanding moment at the perspective of if i'm sitting right here and i'm looking at you this is how i will look if i'm talking to you yeah you know yeah. so and the fact that shay gave him the um the opportunity to talk and not you know like how he normally does his interviews. It's just <clears throat> yeah, he gave and him he even space said it to, to um, Oche. You know, I'm, I'm letting him speak because if I didn't, I would, I wouldn't. We all of us would have never got that. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Hell no. Shout out to Shane, man. Shout out to Unk. You know yeah, Shane, Shane, that's Shane that guy. He's doing, he been doing his thing since the NFL. You Absolutely. Know? He's Absolutely. taking over the media and, and game. The but um. I thought that Willie, D- I liked that interview. No, I like that interview too. You know what I mean? I that's, thought Willie D was a little bit like uh, intimidated by him. Though. That's when Cat Williams got in his bag. He said, "You know, they shot the nose off." Yo, oh, I said, "Damn." That was a jewel dropper right there. All I could think of was Nas, uh, <clears throat> that Nas song. I can shout out their nose mm. to impose what basically yes. I said, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said it's a brand. That's like, oh. But shout out to Cat Williams for doing his thing. You know what I mean? But uh, I feel like we touched on enough topics. We had fun today. You know what I mean? Shout out to Third for popping up. But we about to get up out of here. Um, what y'all got to give to y'all people before we get out of here? You know what I mean? Let them know where they can find you and all that. Thing. Um, I'm gonna give it to 